welcome back guys hope you all are doing great and what we'll be doing today is we'll be automating this excel spreadsheet with python the task we're going to perform is we're going to get some data we're going to search for some data we're also going to merge two of these excel spreadsheets together and lastly what we will do is that we'll actually add some formulas to this excel spreadsheet and get the result displayed on each spreadsheet so hope you're ready for this i know what let's get to the video Now when we want to combine or merge two files, the way we're going to do that is we'll first import Pandas. And Pandas is a library that is used for manipulating data as PD. And next thing we we'll create an array called Excel files. And this is where we're going to put the file path of the two Excels that we have. So we have sample data one and sample data two. And now to get it, you just right click and you click on copy. You get the absolute path and you paste it right here and we do the same thing for the second one absolute path and we paste that right there now i'm sure you're seeing that it's showing some underlying red all you need to do is you do ctrl r and now we're gonna exchange this slash for the other type of slash i think this is a forward slash this is a backward slash and we just click on replace all and now we can see that all the error is gone just gonna make this look bigger now the next thing we're going to create a variable called join i will set that equal to pd dot data frame data frame with a capital and after that now we're gonna loop so we'll say for file in excel files what we want to happen is that we want df to equal to pd dot read i want you to read the excel so that's why we put read excel i would say file and now we're going to use the skip row to actually skip the first row And now we say join is equal to join.append and we're going to say df we're appending this df and ignore index and we set that to true after that we just say join dot to Excel and then we give the name of the new file that we want to create because we're joining them to a new file I will call that joined underscore files dot X L S X and yep that's it for this this is file not files just checking if I made any other mistakes but yeah if everything goes well you should see a file right here called joined file this wasn't there before we just created it if you click on it you see that it has the data of both of the files that we just created so you can see everything here and this is joint file that we just created. So basically combined sample data one and sample data two together. So this is one of the cool things you can do with Python. Now let's go to the other cool stuff you can do. Yeah, so now we want to get a value from two different files. This is how we do it. So we just import. And when I say files, I mean Excel files, of course. And then we yeah i'm just gonna go real quick to combine and get this right here so i don't have to do that again and we paste our files these are the two files we create an array called result set it to an empty array and now we loop through the files so we say for file in excel files 
say workbook is equal to open pi excel dot load workbook and then we say use say file inside there and the way we specify a worksheet to select is that we say worksheet is equal to workbook and then we say sales order sales orders actually make sure that's correct because that's where we're taking it from now we need to locate the cell and get its value so we just call this cell underscore result as equal to worksheet and what we want to get is from from cell 13 so we say g13 capital g g13 g13 and that needs to be in quotes g13 we say the value now we need to append them to our list and the way we do that is we just call the list we say result dot append cell result and now all we need to do is just print it out so we print now we print the total we'll say print cell result and that's it right here run it And we can see right here we have the two values for the different years and they're the same if we change this to like 11 then we should get different values we'll run it now you can see here we get different values because the first spreadsheet has a different value at that cell g11 than the second one so now if we add like a certain column that we want to see things that are associated with that column it's very easy to do that with python let me just show you how we do that so we import pandas as pd and we import numpy as mp the next thing i'm going to paste the files that we want to use for this the two excel files that we have right here and after that what we we'll do is we we'll use a for loop so we we'll say for file because we have to loop through the files excel files and we'll say df is equal to pd.read read excel and what file is it going to read it's going to read this file right here from the for loop now what we need to do is we need to locate the item column and return the rep where the condition matches pen and the way we'll do that is we'll say pen is equal to df I'll say rep with a capital R but the rest is small letter dot where and now we say df where we want it to be it's item with a capital i and say so if that is equal to pen with a capital p because all this matters it's all case sensitive all this matters because it's case sensitive it has to be exactly how it is named on your file drop now and after that will print file and after that we'll print pen so now we do is we save it and we run it and now you can see all the names that are associated with pen
Now we can also add some formulas and actually get the result of that formula. And what we're going to do here is how we do that is first we do the standard, we import open pi Excel. After that, create our Excel file. I think I have that saved. Just paste it right there. And now we're going to loop, say for file in Excel file. Excel files say WB is equal to open Excel dot load work and load and file. Now we need to locate the worksheet, so we'll say worksheet is equal to WB. What we want is the sales order. The sales orders. Now we need to locate the worksheet. <coughs> now we need to compute the average in G46, or you can do it in G47, wherever you want it, as far as it's empty. So the way we do that is we'll say worksheet. G40 or G50. And this equals to say now average. You need to put a equal sign because this is a formula. And after that, we'll say we're starting from G3 because that's where it starts from. And we want it to stop at G40. You can make it stop at wherever you want it to be, which is G40. And now we just say wb.save. wb.save. And then we say file. And that's it. Now we, yeah, there shouldn't be a space there. We run it. It's best to run it like this since we're dealing with different files. And make sure that your Excel file is closed. Now we need to just open it. And the best way to open it is you come right here, you go to your folder, and then you right click and you say open in File Explorer. So now we have the file right here. We click on it, click on it right here, our data set. And then we open this and open that. These are the two Excel files we have. And I'm going to share my screen. Now reduce the files. And we scroll and you can see that it was done on 50. You can see the result. And the same for here, you can see on 50. And we can see the results right here. It's the same result. So yeah, that's how you can use the formula. You can see right here. You can see the average that we just created. And that's it right there. When you click on the box itself, you see it there. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like this kind of video, leave it down in the comments below. And I will make a lot of more stuff about Excel and just automation in general with Python. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like the video. And yeah, I'm going to wrap things up and I'll keep things moving. And I'll see you all in the next YouTube video.